This is Kevin Harlan. Joining me, Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Farm brings you tonight's starting players. Here are the five for the Clippers. Blake Griffin and DeAndre Jordan. They're inside. Chris Paul is out there at Bloodsaw. And it's Butler in at the three. The small forward. And for Oklahoma City, Durant, Ibaka, and Perkins compose the front court. Westbrook and Harden in the back. You know, guys, I like what the Clippers have done. They have added some really good young talent to build on, and they're looking to improve upon their 9-32 and 32 road record of last season. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Yes, Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with head coach Lenny Del Negro. He told me that to him, the most impressive thing about his team has been their mistake-free play offensively, saying, we're not doing a lot wrong when we've got the ball in our hands, and we need to keep that frame of mind going. Guys? Good report, Doris. Well said. Thanks. Hey, an interesting thing to address before the game. Yeah, you know, the priority of most coaches is not shooting. I mean, that's really way down the priority list in terms of what a coach might talk about. Steve? Well, you don't want to focus on makes and misses because uh, that puts pressure on the players. But clearly, you got to put the ball in the hoop. And I think tonight, uh, making shots from the outside is going to be really key. Working it around now. Here's Jordan. And again, no good by the Clippers. And a young team like the Clippers, Steve, uh, you know, what do you think are some of the keys to winning on the road? Well, it starts with defense and rebounding because uh, when you go on the road, you can't count on making long shots and getting transition and finding easy points. The game's going to be tougher, so you have to defend and rebound to give yourself a chance. And that's what he does. I mean, he takes advantage. If you're going to play poor defense, he's going to get a hoop easy. Well, out of the break, guys, he's managed to turn it over twice now, and that doesn't bode well for the rest of the quarter if he doesn't shake out of it and tighten things up. And, you know, one of the reasons Oklahoma City traded for Kendrick Perkins last season was it allowed them to slide Serge Ibaka to the starting power forward role, and, and he's ready. A, a long, athletic defender at 6'10". He's, he's a, a really good player. Nick Young's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. When the big fella goes up like that, you better get out of the way. And the dunk by Westbrook. You know, his athleticism kind of sneaks up on you. You forget about how athletic he is until he makes a play like that. What a powerful move to the hoop, Steve. Yes, sir. Kind of catches you off guard, doesn't it? Because he's got those little legs, and then all of a sudden, bam, he just explodes. Speaking of Serge Ibaka, he picked up the game late in life. And he's still developing his awareness. Uh, certainly an offense. Yeah, I think you'd have to call him a raw prospect offensively. And that being said, Kevin, he's got pretty good form on that jump shot, and it does go in. So, oh! Now, that's a special order right there. Not everybody can cap off a dunk like that. Yeah, very difficult maneuver, but a tremendous one if you can pull it off. Paul can't get it to go. Hey, the defense was right there just waiting, doing a nice job of anticipating that play. Steve, every team needs tough interior defense to be successful. A different look for Oklahoma City. Muhammad comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And Tabo Cephalosha subbed in for James Harden. The Clippers also making some changes. Kenyon Martin, he's checked in for DeAndre Jordan. And it's Simmons in for Karan Butler. How about Kevin Durant for Oklahoma City? So low maintenance. Signed that long-term extension with the Thunder. Doesn't mind playing in a smaller market. Just wants to play basketball and win games. He hits the second from the line. Steve, you mentioned Kevin Durant's extension with the Oklahoma City Thunder in a summer that saw all the fanfare around LeBron's decision. He's moved to Miami. Durant's new contract, absolutely a low-key affair. And that's his personality. The young fellas say, do you or be me. That's what you got to do. Uh, not a big showman. That's not his nature. Loves the game. Hangs out in the gym. Homebody. Works at it. Gets home. Gets off his feet. I mean, he's high performance, low maintenance. You love that. A lot of good qualities. Yeah. Paul is tagged with the reach. That is his first foul of the game. First foul. Here is Durant. Puts it up, off the inbound. Count that one. Durant's got five. 
Kevin, that's exactly the kind of shot you want off the inbounds play. Well, Oklahoma City is a team that has gotten better and better for the last few years. And they continue to get better against the Western Conference, who a five-game improvement uh, in their record versus the West a year ago from the season before. So far in the game for Westbrook, he's already got eight points. You can throw in a couple of steals for him, too. Those are some quick hands he's got, guys. And the Thunder tougher against the West. Steve, you talked about that five-game improvement. But they match up well, it seems, Clark, with just about anybody in the Western Conference. I'll even throw the East in here, too. Yeah, no question. I mean, I like this team's versatility. When you look at the Thunder, they, they've got a lot of things. I mean, they've got size, strength, athleticism. And you need those ingredients if you're going to be a contender. And you have to be able to win different ways. Oklahoma City, the kind of team that's growing into that. Um, a well-rounded roster. They're young. So as they get more seasoning, um, they're going to be a really difficult team to handle for a long time. Looking at who's out there now for the Thunder. Kendrick Perkins, he's checked in for Muhammad. And it's Harden in for Tabo Cephalosha. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Here's Foy, smooth as silk on the finger roll aggressive transition game leads to the easy hoop yeah i love to see these guys just trampolining to the hoop westbrook no good clippers trailed by five here's young an amazing finish with a hand right in his face there's 48 seconds left in the first back to durant here's the three good durant's got eight points he knows his role, he embraces it. He's really a guy that you can go to offensively. And it's Foy missing. The Thunder leading by six. And Westbrook throws it down. Now that's just rubbing it in, fella. Throwing it down was by uh, These folks are not going to forget that one anytime soon. Griffin shot is off. And here are the Thunder now. Eight point game over Foy. Another miss by Westbrook. Westbrook gets called for the reach. That is his first foul of the game. Here's Bledsoe. And it's thrown down hard with both hands. You know, you wouldn't pin the point guard tag on him the way he throws it down like that. No way. Now, monster dunks like that, I mean, that's not just for big fellas, guys. I mean, the little guys can do that at times, too. No shortage of scoring here. And the first quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. He's pretty boss. He's pretty boss, actually. He's uh, he's amazing. Here's Fisher. So with Paul on the bench, here's who's on the floor now for Vinny Del Negro. They've got Bloodsoe. Karan Butler is out there with Martin. Work. Then there's Foy, and it's Jordan in at the five spot. And that one's good by Butler. You know, guys, most coaches prefer you drive the lane in transition, but this time the floor opened up for him out on the three-point line. You know, it may not sound like much, but the Clippers managed to go 19 and 33 against the Western Conference last season. That was a solid four-game improvement, though, over the prior season. Fisher gets the reach-in call. That is his first foul of the game for the Thunder. Kevin Durant's checked in for Cephalosha. And Russell Westbrook has subbed in for Derek Fisher. And the Clippers with a change here, too. Griffin's checked in. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, Blake Griffin was last year's Rookie of the Year, but of course he was drafted back in 2009 and suffered a fractured kneecap in the preseason that forced him to miss the rest of the year. Asked about the injury, he said, It made me become more patient, and that fire, the love of the game, grew even more. My leg is getting even stronger because of all the time I've put into strengthening every muscle around my knee. I think I'm in even better shape. I just want to stay healthy. The rest, I truly believe, will take care of itself. His rookie season, proof of that, gentlemen. He's become the face of the franchise, Doris. Thank you. 
he just rattled off that nice record against the West, their best mark, uh, Steve, in the last three seasons. But still the third worst overall record in the West. I mean, it, it is no easy task trying to move your way up this Western Conference. Westbrook can't get it to go. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps. And they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. You know, I, I think Blake Griffin is one of those players that come along ever so often. I mean, I have to admit, seeing him play for the Clippers, you wonder how it's going to work out, but he's special. Going back to what Clark just said, you know, Blake has said he's not going to worry about the past of the Clippers. He's focused on the future, but Steve, do you think he'll be able to reach his goals in the Clipper blue and red? Well, it all depends. Oh! How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. Westbrook can't get it to go. I think he caught a glimpse of the defender out of the corner of his eye because he just seemed to lose his focus there for a moment. He got a little room at the rim and laid it in. Great play. And that one goes in as he is fouled. It'll be three points if he converts at the line. So for the Clippers, Kenyon Martin, he's checked in for Griffin. Young comes in for Randy Ford. And it's Paul in for Eric Bledsoe. Well, Russell Westbrook is so aggressive as a point guard. He attacks the rim. It's very difficult to slide in front of him and take a charge because he's so quick and athletic. He usually gets the angle on his defender. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. That one on Perkins. He was talking about Westbrook Clark and, and about the angles he takes on the floor when he drives. Yeah, he's very slippery. You know, he's strong. He's explosive. He's quick. And he has a way about him, Kevin, where he can slither through the smallest of cracks, kind of shoehorn himself into the lane. And if he gets a chance, he's going to face this. He is going to punch it right in your mug. I don't care how big you are. We call that Facebooking you. I like it. What a great look to find him inside like that. I mean, that's the way to find him when you're ready to score, guys. And taken away by Paul, the Clippers trail. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's good defense. Don't let a guy get a lay-in. Foul hard and send him to the free throw line. And I like that billboard there. Sending a message. You can't come in here and get anything free in our paint. Nick Collison's checked in for the Thunder. Cephalosha comes in for James Harden. And with six full seasons in the book for Chris Ball, I think we can start to see how he measures up against some of the all-time great point guards. He has all the tools to be compared with some of those guys, but uh, in the end, he's got to win rings to be considered one of the great players of all time. No prettier shot than the finger roll, smooth and beautiful. It's a joy to see. It's up a three. The shot's good from Westbrook. Westbrook's got 10 points in the quarter. Answering what you said about Paul early, it does just come down to rings in the end. Clark, where do you think he stands up as of right now? Well, I've got a bone of contention first. I don't think it comes down to rings. Mm. Clearly, that's part of it, okay? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. part of it. But in a team sport, it takes more than just your brilliance to win a ring. So great players, to me, aren't necessarily going to always end up with the ring. That being said, Chris Paul, his position is on par for being compared to the best at the position. And a ring, whether you it's a ring or not. To me, it's about production over a long period of time, which determines an individual's greatness as a basketball player. For the Thunder, Baca comes in for Nick Collison, and Derek Fisher is subbed in for Russell Westbrook. The Clippers also changing it up. Griffin comes in for DeAndre Jordan, and it's Simmons in for Karan Butler. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, Doris Brooke. Doris, over to you. Hey, Kevin. Well, the Clippers traded away their first-round pick last season to the Cavs. At the time, because the draft was not supposed to be that great, they didn't think too highly of it, saying they didn't see anyone they particularly thought of that high in the draft. But it ended up being the number one overall selection. We'll see how that pick pans out over the next several years, guys. And the jam by Kevin Durant. He's trying to wear them down here. Yeah, the lead is just expanding right now. That's what you want to do when you've got a team down. Don't let them up. 
Here's Fisher. 59 seconds left now here in the second. Now here's Durant. Defense right on him. I thought Kevin Durant did a nice job last year of cutting down on his turnovers and becoming a more efficient offensive player. And that's important for him to continue to improve as he goes on in his career. So for the Clippers, DeAndre Jordan comes in for Blake Griffin. And it's Evans in for Kenyon Martin. Young's shot is off. You know, Steve, speaking of Durant cutting down on his turnovers, he's still working on his playmaking and increasing his assist numbers. He said he'd take great pride in that number growing over his career. Yeah, Kevin, and that's the next step, I think, in his development when you look at him. I mean, he can attract so much attention because he is such a prolific scorer. As a result, he'll have a chance to create a lot of opportunities and easy shots for his teammates, and he'll develop that part of his game, I'm sure. You know, folks can debate who the best point guard is in the league forever. I mean, but no matter which way you slice it, Paul is on the short roll call list. Can't get it to go. So Oklahoma City will take it the other way. Here's Durant. Oh! And the powerful one-handed slam. Well, he's got enough hang time there to put a little something extra on that one. Two scoops of ice cream after that. <laughs> well, that's a thing that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. So I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. <laughs> Here's Paul. Kicks it to Young. Pass to Paul. And stolen by Fisher. That's just a horrible decision. you got to be more patient with the ball. So we've reached the end of the first half of play. Well, the second half just about to get going here. Here's Westbrook. Nine point game. Clark, you mentioned Paul. Oh! of the week that one will be one of the plays of the season it already is all i know is he's lucky that thing went in if he had missed that can you imagine how his coach would have reacted look i mean the thunder two seasons ago managed to give the lakers a run for their money in the first round but in this last season's playoffs they put the league on notice that their sights were and are much higher westbrook no good clippers trail by nine Paul dishes to Bledsoe over Harden and again the Clippers good for two now here's Westbrook and he has 28 points for the game but I think Clark around the league the Thunder been held up as the example of how you build a contender from the ground up they certainly Steve lived up to that phrase I thought this past season yeah they really seem to have all the pieces that a team needs to contend for a championship a star player and Kevin Durant, great point guard, and Russell Westbrook. They've got complementary pieces as well. And now it's just a matter of letting this team grow and move forward together. Veron Butler, a very capable one-on-one -on -one score. He's a guy you can go to at the end of games because he can face up a little bit like Carmelo Anthony and use that triple threat to score on you. And here we go with Eric Bledsoe. Westbrook against Paul. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got 13 points. And Butler with that triple threat. His jumper is a little flat, but it's accurate. And you know what, Kevin? He may not be a super high efficiency scorer, but when he's healthy, I mean, he can get his own shot fairly easily. He's a really solid offensive player. Second shot opportunity. Ibaka, no luck. Shot's good by Bledsoe. Six points for him. Well, they've really picked up the intensity here since halftime. I think they got the pep talk in both teams now really going after each other. And Baca gets whistled for a loose ball foul. That'll be his second foul of the game. And the Thunder with some changes. Ozzy Muhammad checked in for Perkins. And Nick Collison subbed in for Serge Ibaka. And it's Lutcher also now for the Clippers. 
Nick Young's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. Benny no Danilo way. didn't have an easy look at, look at this. Look at me coming in. Watch how far I lunge to foul you with Chris Paul. Look, look at this. I'm over here on the right. See number three? Watch. Look at, look at me. Look at me. No! <laughs> Of it leading the way for the Clippers in his first year coaching that team, but he was able to get them to up their win total, and that's something to build off of. Well, getting back to Del Negro, Clark, I mean, this is a team that has a lot of young talent. they got Blake Griffin to build around, but it, it's had a losing culture for so long. So this is a tough job. I mean, he's got to really change their style, get them to buy into playing defense and playing together and try to build some momentum with a franchise that really that's never like has that. had any. Great teamwork out there, really helping each other out. They're playing as one. I mean, they're like a symphony. Everybody in harmony and in beat and in rhythm. Five straight baskets now have resulted because of assists. Young from outside gets it to go. Now just a one-point Thunder lead. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Thunder. We got Brooks, winner of the 2010 Coach of the Year Award. He and, of course, Kevin Durant have been a big reason why the Thunder have moved up the ladder to become one of the league's elite teams. Kendrick Perkins has checked in for Oklahoma City. Baca comes in for Nick Collison. Here's Westbrook. 32 points in the game. Back to Brooks for a second. It's been amazing to see him transform his team from what they were, you know, Steve, to what they are now. Well, every year they've taken steps forward. And, you know, now they're poised to become one of the elite teams in the league. It gets a lot tougher, though, from here on out. The honeymoon is over, and it's time for them to, to get to that elite level. And they've got to get better. They have to make some internal improvements. Even with the D lurking, he made it look easy with the soft finger roll. He passes it to Griffin. Over Ibaka. And Griffin with the score. The assist by Paul. That's seven points for Blake Griffin. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Chris Paul picks up that one. That was good awareness. Fouling and avoiding giving up an easy dunk. Well, I think that's just good, smart basketball. Make him earn his points at the line. Bobby Simmons, he's checked in for Nick Young. So he hits one of two from the strike. Tell you what, Russell Westbrook was a big part of the Thunder's run in the playoffs last year. At times, he could take over games, and that's what I like about him. He's a guy that can be a difference maker. Well, Clark was talking about Westbrook. He was averaging more shot attempts in the playoffs, Steve, than he was in the regular season. Well, and I didn't have any problem with that. I mean, sometimes in the playoffs, the defense is tougher, and the more athletic players have to create for themselves, uh, particularly at the end of the shot clock. The big thing for Westbrook is just developing his point guard skills and understanding circumstances and game situations, time and score, that kind of thing. And, and he, I think he's going to get better and better as he goes forward. Seven lead changes now, and we're just in the third quarter. Yeah, each side having a tough time staying in front. Well, the fans love it. I mean, uh, a tug of war, uh, back and forth affair. But if you're a coach, well, there's a little frustration here. You're trying to pull ahead, but pretty evenly matched game. You know, they've really had the upper hand in rebounding all game long. If the game stays this close, rebounding can play a big part in the end. Yeah, I agree. I mean, big advantage for them here, and they've certainly needed it. Time running down now at the end of the quarter. They could go two for one if they decide to. And I think that's what they need to do if the, if the shot's there. Kevin, it's really hard to deny this guy the offensive board if he's got even the slightest position inside. He'll take advantage of any little sliver you give him. Ozzy Muhammad checked in for the Thunder. Cephalosha comes in for Kevin Durant. You know, fellas, this Oklahoma City team is built the right way. I mean, it's been done with patience. Through the draft, I mean, you've got to have some good fortune there when you're talking about the draft. The money's been spent wisely, and now I think they're starting to approach the finished product, the team capable of winning NBA titles for years to come. Certainly, they'll be contending for me with think. Sure. Releases from 15, and it's a little long. A very rough quarter for him as not much is falling right now. Jordan with the bucket. You know, nice work getting inside that time. I mean, that's the spot where his height advantage is really going to pay off for him, and he used it. And the Clippers making a change here. Oh, Blake. At the line of the Clippers, DeAndre Jordan. We need him for the last line. Shooting the ball. No good, and they don't get the three-point play. 
Here's Westbrook. Some solid D from Paul. And the Clippers call time here. They've already picked up a number of fouls here, and they're in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet, keeping their hands up, and defending without foul. That will count. Shot misses. And as we conclude the third... Go to the bathroom. Or actually, I'll just let it go. Ah, uh, no, I won't. If that half court shot went in, that would have been awesome. That would have been amazing. Then my timeout strategy would have worked good. Court. What a game! Neither team giving ground. <laughs> Here's four. Fisher is. How's that a reach? Hopefully, we go like. Whistle for reaching in. That's his third foul of the game. Here's four. A moment now to reset the lineups back to us by Gatorade, all fueled up here for the fourth quarter. So for the Clippers right now, Griffin is out there with Martin, then there's Foy, then there's Nick Young, and Simmons. I want to see this. Oh, now your subs are coming in right now. Yo, look, it got blocked in, look. He's going to have to yeah, be know, very careful, be guys, because that's his fourth box. foul now, so we'll see how he responds. Free throw, good, four. Here's Westbrook. Covered by Foy. Westbrook, no good. The Clippers in the lead. Pulls it from the elbow. Gets it to go. Here's Westbrook. Durant for three. Wait, do we each have the same amount of rebounds? Oh, no, we don't. I have more. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. 18 points for Kevin Durant. And so here are the Clippers. They lead by one. And Griffin backs in. That's good. And the Clippers lead by three. They continue to barrel their way inside, and when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's eight points out of their last ten coming inside. And it ends up oh, out of bounds. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for the Clippers. Paul comes in for Bobby Simmons. Here's four. And it's Harden picking him up. It's stolen by Ibaka. Here's Westbrook. Got it. Good job in the low post. Westbrook's got 40 points. He's so graceful around the rim. Sometimes you forget how strong he is. The Clippers grab the miss. He dishes it to four. There's the triple. Serge Ibaka pulls it in. Buck has got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And Durant gets it to go. Boy, right down to the wire here, Clark and Steve. Still anyone's ball game. Both teams really invested now. I mean, this is the type of game you, you love to win. And watch that. Watch it. Watch it. Okay, good. He just got... Everything just collapsed on him. Look at this. He thinks he got... I thought I got two paint, points in the paint right here. No, sir. No soul. Like you hate to lose Oof, boy. after all this this energy that both teams have expended. Uh, you're right, Mark. This would be a tough one to lose. A shot's good from Westbrook. 
He's done an outstanding job all game long. Absolutely a great job of finding an opening against the defense. And again, no good by the Clippers. The Thunder leading by three. And it's Martin picking him up. Outside Westbrook. And Durant backing in. Durant doing all sorts of things. He has 20 points, and he's hit two shots from beyond the arc. Now, Clark, that productivity from long range gives them a nice balance offensively. For the Thunder, Muhammad comes in for Kendrick Perkins. And Nick Collison subbed in for Serge Ibaka. Blake Griffin, he's checked in for the Clippers. Evans comes in for Kenyon Martin. And it's Paul missing. And here are the Thunder now. Stringing it together. They've got an 11-2 run goal. Offensive rebound. Collison. And he pops it in following the offensive rebound. And the Thunder lead by seven. Goes up strong. <laughs> Super Asian Pasha Evans. one hand and flushes it down these guys know each other well clearly because that was a beautiful pass here's Westbrook and so he earns a trip to the line officials saw the contact and he'll shoot two yeah the official all over that one that's a good call there you gotta give credit to the official there I mean being in the right position to make that call that's what they get paid to do for the Thunder Kendra Perkins he's checked in for Muhammad and it's Ibaka in for Nick Collison. The Clippers also making some changes. DeAndre Jordan's checked in for Evans. And Karan Butler is subbed in for Nick Young. And the Clippers call time here. They're losing by seven. 157 left to play here on the fourth. The Thunder making a switch here. Fisher's checked in. A moment to check in with Doris Brooks. Doris? what Vinny Del Negro was going over with his team. He warned his team to get back in transition defense, saying they're giving up way too many fast break buckets, and he wants an end to it. He said, hey, let's slow the tempo and make them take some tough shots. A sound defensive strategy, Kevin. Durant for three. That's good. Durant's got ten points in the quarter. He has taken over this game, guys. I don't know what else you can say about 